Oh, ho, ho. look at you. You're a nice corner, aren't you? Oh, ho, ho. buttercream filling. <laughs> you wanted to see me, Chief O'Brien? Yes, good to see you, my lad. Grab a seat. I'm just diving into my first piece of Mulligan's retirement cake. I asked for a corner. I like the corners. OK, sir. Did you get a piece? I didn't see you out there with the lads when we all sang the retirement song. No, I was working. My report is on top. I'm ready for my next assignment. Ah, I have to be honest with you. This is my second piece. Are you sure you don't want to say strikes? No, I'm, I'm fine. I'm fine, OK? Listen, this has just been a long day, and I'd like to go home. So if you could tell me what I'm doing here, that'd be great. Ah, well, I know you always get sort of blue this time of year because it's around the time your dog died. But you're kind of bumming out the rest of the FBI. Look, I know what it's like to lose a dog. It's hard. But it's been nearly 20 years. <laughs> You know, once I lost two dogs and a cat. Yeah. My family and I, we were on vacation when we got word that our pets had escaped their temporary lodgings. But when we got back to San Francisco, we realized that they had traveled across the entire country just to come and find us. And they came home to us. That's just homeward bound. What? You're describing the plot to Homeward Bound. Yeah, that's Homeward Bound. You got me. I'm just trying to get you to have a little bit of fun. Lighten up. You're a good agent, but you're too hard on yourself, Scraggs. Don't call me Scraggs, OK? I don't go by that name anymore. Please, use my full name, Scragtowski. Well, things change. People change. Well, if you really are a changed man, uh, what about finding yourself a new dog? Make him your new best friend. I have some friends who could help you out, actually. They run a hotel where they harbor all sorts of nice strays. It's just hotel for dogs. Yeah, that's hotel for dogs. You got me. OK, with all due respect, un unless my work is suffering, I don't see why I should have to change the way I operate. I have the highest rate of closed cases in the whole bureau. I always deliver. So why does it matter if I'm less social than the other guys or, or don't crack jokes? This is a serious business, and I'm a serious man. Man. Fine, Scragtowski, fine. You, you tired me out. This just came across my desk. Uh, cloaked figures, pentagrams drawn in blood, possible cult worship, and the trail is cold. Just your style. Hi, Shashai. Sir, would you like your fourth piece of cake? It's the last corner. Come back and get it. Hi. I, I, I can't take this case. You just busted in here less than three minutes ago asking for a new case. Yes, but I can't take this case. What's your bloody deal, Scragtowski? You get more depressed when you're not working, but you won't take the work I'm trying to give you. This is the guy that got away, OK? Our last case when we were kids, the case of the demonic apostle, where Kluber. <laughs> this is the last case that broke up the Solvent Squad, OK? Ah, OK, I'm sorry, I didn't know that. Uh, but you're just going to have to be a brave man, Scragtowski. You know, once I knew another brave man who defied the odds and did something that no one else thought was possible. Yeah. See, he always wanted to be a basketball player, right? <laughs> but people thought it was mad to let a golden retriever on the court. <laughs> yes. Yes, I'm talking about Airbud. <laughs> Listen, I, I appreciate you trying to cheer me up. I really do. But I'm sort of a closed book when it comes to my history with the Solvit Squad. I haven't seen any of those guys in almost 20 years. And to take this case would mean opening up a whole closet full of skeletons. And not the fun Halloween kind that play their ribs like a xylophone. No. <laughs> I mean, Kluber, he, he was the glue of our group. I wouldn't have been friends with any of those guys if it wasn't for Kluber. I was a nobody. But when we got together, something clicked. <laughs> we were dynamite on top of the world. 
We were the smartest, the hottest, and the coolest kids in Mayberry, man. I mean, we captured hundreds of criminals before we even got into high school. And we were the best of friends. But that's over now. And, and, and those people, they are long gone. So if you think we're just going to bury the hatchet, suit up, and work together again, you're kidding yourself. There is no way in hell that the Solvit Squad will ever assemble again. Just take the bloody case. Okay, fine. <laughs>